Once again, it's a pleasure to uh, comment on the remarks made by the member from Bruce Gray Owen Town. I disagree with him on many issues, but there's one that I fully agree with. Chapman's makes fantastic ice cream. <laughs> they use 100% they use Canadian milk. And you know what? And this is Agriculture Week, and companies like Chapman should be saluted because they use fantastic local product and make a, a fantastic ice cream. And that's, that's where our similarities are going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Bill 75, the Electricity Systems Operator Act, it's going to combine two IESO and OPA. And on that point of the bill, I think we, we could be in agreement because we believe that we actually would like to go farther. We believe by combining agencies, especially agencies that buy electricity and that regulate electricity, that would make sense. You know, it should lead to less duplication. It should lead to less problems like we've been having. Um, on the whole, that part of the bill makes sense. But there's another part of the bill that doesn't make sense, Speaker. And that part of the bill removes even more public scrutiny from the electrical system. Because now, an electrical plan would have to be submitted to the OPA, and the public has a, has a, a right, if they so choose, to comment on it. With Bill 75, that right will be removed because it will be a ministerial plan. And we've just gone into a big debate what happens when we have politics getting involved too much in electricity. And there is a risk that that could become an even bigger problem with this bill. That part of this bill is, is just a non-starter. I think it, you know, it, it, removing public scrutiny is causing us huge problems as problems and we have to stop. Thank you. Further comments?